hello guys and welcome back to my channel i am here with another video so in this video we will build a motion layout using three buttons to animate these three buttons like this so the animation was quite slow because of the emulator so we can try it again so this is kind of animation we are trying to achieve in this video so let's start so first uh, let's create a kotlin file for button motion so let's do that new kotlin file choose file and we will say button motion and here we will create a composable function for button motion so let's say add composable function button motion here we need to create a variable for uh, animating the button so we can say where animate button and we can use uh, remember function so we will say by remember and we can import the remember inside this remember function we can we can provide a state for the animation so we can use mutable state of so we will say mutable state of and we can set the initial value to false so let's set it to false and we need to import the get value and mutable set of so let's import it and we also need to import the runtime so let's do that then we need to create a value for animation progress so let's say value animation progress and we can choose by animate float as a state so we can say animate float as a state and it requires a tra target value so we can say if animate button which means that if it is true then we will set the target value to 1f else if it's false then it will be 0f and it requires a animation spec also so we can say animation spec and here we just need to provide the duration so we will say twin and we can provide the duration so it's in milliseconds we will say duration in milli or duration millis and we can set it to one second by setting it to 1000 milliseconds then we can create our motion layout let's so for motion layout we need a constant layout dependency so let's uh, define that so here we can get the dependency for constant layout we have this link developer.android.com training constant layout motion layout and if we go down we have this dependency for constant layout compose so we just need to copy it and we will just paste it in our build.gradle file let's sync now so now we can create our motion layout so let's do that so we can say motion layout and we need to set the is this one constant set so if it asks for start and end to constant set so let's choose this one so we need to define two constant set one for the beginning and the other for the end so let's do that let's remove all of this and here we will say constant constant set and we need to select the json content and here we will have uh, three double quotes so two does not work here so we need to have three 
so let's get rid of the extras and then we can have curly braces and then we can have ending quotes so let's uh, define our uh, constant set for the for the starting animation so we will say button one and we will define its properties so first we will define the width of the button so for width we can say 100 and height we need height so we will say for height we will say 60 and then we need to provide the starting position so we will say start and here we can set it to parent so it will be at the top of the screen parent and then for the second argument we can provide the start because this is the first button so it need to be at the it need to be the first button so we need to set it to start and here we can provide some padding for it so we can say 16 and then we need the ending position so for end we can do the same with different values so for end we can see set it to button 2 so the beginning of the button 2 will be the ending of the button 1 and let's set it to start the second argument and uh, for padding we will give it to 8 because for second button we will set it to 8 also so it will be uniform throughout the layout and uh, then we, we can define the second button so let's do that so here we will say we can copy this button one and we can change it, it properties so let's do that here we will say it uh, button two width and height will remain same let's give it 60 actually 30 is too low so 60 and for start we will say it to button one so it will start at the end of button one and this one we can set it to end and let's give the padding of 8 so 8 8 will be 16 so it will be uniform and for ending we can say button 2 start and let's give it 16 and similarly we can define the third button so let's copy it and let's call it button 3 and for start this one will be button 2 everything will be same for the start let's make it 16 for padding and uh, here we need to set it to parent and let this set one to end as well and after that we need to delete this trim margin it got imported by itself and then we need to provide the second constant set for the ending and animation or the secondary animation so let's do that so we will say here constant set choose the json content and here we will do the same way but bit differently so let's put the three quotes curly braces and three quotes more and here we can define the three buttons again so here we will say button one again and for width we can say spread so it will spread when the animation happens and height will be 16 60 and the start or start we can say parent and for ending we can say start because uh, 
and padding will be 16 so because the second animation will be like uh, the button will be stacked vertically so that's why they will all start from a starting position and after start we can provide the end for first button so here we will say for end we will say parent and for second position we will say and and padding will be 16 and we also need to provide the top constant because they will be stacked vertically so let's say that uh, the first button will be at button 1 because it is the first button and here we can now actually we need to set it to parent because it is the first button so parent and here we need to set it to top because it will be on top at everything and for padding we can set it to 16 and let's uh, do it for the second button as well so for second button we will copy this and change it properties so let's make it button 2 and the first two properties will be same the starting property will be also same and the ending will also be same we will only change the top property and here we need to constant it to at the bottom of button 1 so we can simply say here button 1 so it will be at the end of the top of the button 1 and then we need to set it to bottom and let's do it for the button 3 as well so again all of this will be same only the third argument or the third property will be different so here we need this button at the bottom of button 2 so we will say button 2 and we can set it to bottom so it does not need to be changed and we can remove this trim margin so after the two animations because these are just the animation spec we have not defined any button yet these are just the position for the first animation set and for the second animation set so we need to define the progress property as well so let's define here progress and for progress we will set it to animate progress the value we created earlier this one and after that we can provide the modifier as well so let's say modifier equals modifier modifier dot uh, we can say fill max width there's something wrong okay typo mistake modifier dot fill max why not all of the modifiers are showing it's showing but it's behaving differently anyway we can set it to fill max width and we can wrap the content height so let's do that wrap content height and now in this uh, motion layout scope we can uh, define our buttons so we have some issues here so motion layout api is experimental okay so the motion layout api is experimental so we need to annotate it oh so that's why it was not able to fetch all of the modifiers because I imported the wrong modifier so that's why it was giving me headache so let's annotate it with opt-in and we need to provide the experimental API so I think it's motion 
experimental or something like that no it's experimental yeah experimental motion api experimental motion api colon colon class okay so now in this motion layout scope we can define the three buttons so let's do that quickly so we will say button and for on click we will just pitch the animate button to false to true so it can set to false set to true and then false if we click it again so let's do it so we can say animate button equals and we will set it to itself animate button and uh, let's provide we need to give it an id because we are using constant layout motion layout which is extension of or a part of constant layout so here we will say modifier equals modifier dot layout id and for layout id we can say it we can set it to button one which is what we have defined in both constant set button one button two button three so we can set it to button one and then for text we can simply say it we can simply set it to button one oh my bad button one simply copy paste this button for the second and third button so let's do that button 2 and we just need to set the layout id to button 2 and we can change the text also and then for button 3 we can do the same so button 3 and set the text to button 3 and now we just need to call this uh, button motion in our main activity so let's delete this greeting and create a column inside this column we can set an spacer so we can put our buttons in middle so we can say modifier dot height we can set it to 300 dp and we need to import the dp and we can call our button motion and let's run the app and so we got our buttons all of them and if we click then you can see the animation maybe we can decrease the height to 100 dp because the second second animation is going to down which just which does not look good so let's run it again so let's click it click it again it's working but uh, the layout is uh, not correctly set up it should be in the center but it's not going into the center so let's see if we got something wrong so guys i just uh, reduced the size of the height in the spacer and uh, now it looks uh, much nicer compared to what we are we were seeing before so that's it for this video guys and uh, i hope you like the content so please subscribe the channel and hit the like button and i will see you in the next one Goodbye and take care.